Villanueva. Out to Honteveros. San Miguel looking for some offense. Honteveros stops his pass. Short in the three-pointer. Pacana. The long rebound. So here we go again. Length on the right side. Hands off to Valenzuela. This is Wilson. Wilson drives inside, losing control. Goes out of bounds. Turnover, Ginebra. Here's our KFC delivery assist of the quarter, and it's Chris Pacana to Sunday Salvacion. A nice cut from Sunday Salvacion. But for delivers to KFC, just dial 887-8888. KFC, it's finger licking good. The foul has just been called on Billy Bamaril. And on the penalty, San Miguel will take uh, free throws. And this is something he never didn't bargain for. One of the priorities we talked about for Inebra was to create foul trouble, but not for itself, for San Miguel. <laughs> now they're in a hole. They stop the clock and give uh, San Miguel a chance to trip the lead down with free throws. Well, if you're San Miguel, uh, you just want to cut this lead as close to single digits as possible going into the fourth quarter. The momentum is with your opponent, but, you know, in the PBA, anything can happen. Eight fifty-five. The score here is a turnover, and nobody's gonna catch Don Don Ontiveros. He slams it home. Don Don Ontiveros has stemmed the tide a little bit here for the San Miguel Beermen. He's got 15 points. 68-57. The lead is down to 11. We have a timeout. The Beermen hanging around, forcing another turnover here. Out to defense being played by San Miguel. Here's an outside shot. Here we go. And don't see what's happening out The aggressiveness of uh, Barangay and Ebra taken away because they've fallen in love with that three-point shot. And here's San Miguel coming right back. Well, they got what they wanted, or at least what I see. <laughs> They're getting it down to single digits. With two minutes and change left here in the third quarter. Here's Pacana. Drives inside. His shot is short. San Miguel gets the rebound. Here we go again. Remember, San Miguel came back in the third and fourth quarter. Siegel takes the three, drives inside, floats in the air, gets fouled, missed the shot. Pena with the rebound, gets fouled. And he'll take two free throws. A flurry of three-pointers, bringing San Miguel back into this game. Also, some big turnovers on the part of Ginebra. Well, Lordy Togade, much needed TM press here. TM press to hatid sa inyo ng TM power to the people. And Dorian Peña to cut it to six points. Court press for the San Miguel Beermen. They get it ahead. Van Heusen is the shirt of choice for the power dressers. Van Heusen dresses up the morning man endowed with his distinction in a clear cut central style. Van Heusen, best dresser. Well, 25 now. Well, badly needed twitter there for Barangay Nebra. I think this, this counts as an explosion for J.J. Helter. We're, oh, yeah. for, we're looking for an explosion from J.J. Helter, Brad. Uh, talk about outside artillery. It's 10 three-point conversions so far for Hinebra. And uh, five for San Miguel. Or rather, eight for San Miguel. Seventy, sixty-two, an eight-point lead for Barangay Hinebra. Coach Shot Tamkinsen says that uh, there was a foul in that play by Lordi Tugade. Here's the play. Alto Brand gets possession. So a chance to extend the lead to double digits for Barangay Hinebra. Two bit back to Helter Brand. They swing it. Valenzuela, Wilson from the baseline. Short. 
Less than a minute left here in the third quarter. Villanueva out to Montiveros. Gades posting up Ronald Tubid. Montiveros trying to shake off Valenzuela. And he'll draw the foul. And free throws coming up once more for San Miguel. So the defense of San Miguel, they start with a full court press and then they settle into a 2-3 zone defense. That has caused some problems here for Baranga Ginebra as the shooting percentage is dropping. On the other hand, San Miguel has found a range from outside, taking advantage of uh, Ginebra's early foul trouble, going to the line for free throws. And they've also out-rebounded Ginebra here in this third period. The tune is 16 to 10 now in rebounding, so San Miguel has taken uh, care of the boards in this quarter. A good look at uh, Eric Mink. Not in the game right now. One of the reliable big men of Joseph Uchiko. Full court press for San Miguel. The lead is six. They get it ahead to Billy Mamaril. Valenzuela sets it up. And you see the San Miguel defense settling for 2 3. Valenzuela swings it. Ronald Tubit drives inside. And it looks like he'll be fouled by Tugade. Well, San, well, Barangay Nebra realizing that San Miguel is playing a zone defense, now looking to spread the floor. That way they give an advantage to players like Ronald Tubit to drive against the defender and move up close. That's how Tubit got the foul from San Miguel that time out. Okay, Nito, with the zone defense, uh, I think most of the defenders are really, I guess, jumping out at the shooters. You know, they, when, when yep. Ginebra rotates it, so the momentum of the defender is going against where the guy's driving. And um, the good mayor of uh, Pasay City. That's right, and the other thing is it takes away the inside points of the uh, offensive team. On the outside, Valenzuela, so they're starting to miss the outside shots. And don't look now, I mean, this lead can be down to three points with a trifecta from San Miguel. Montiveros looking at the clock, 10 left in the third quarter. Gets a screen, Dondon still has it. Five left on the clock. Hontiveros for three. Come on. Good done, Hontiveros. A cold blooded three pointer with 2.7 seconds left. He cuts the lead to three points as Billy Mamaril missing that shot. But the San Miguel Beermen have come almost all the way back from a lead of 21 here in the second half to cut it to three points 70 to 67. The Cebuano hotshot, Don Don Honti Veros, leading the way for the Beermen, despite the shots from J.J. Helterbrand here, the drive inside, and even from the perimeter. But Lordy Tugadi and company, along with that last shot by Honti Veros, has cut it to three points. It's a quarterfinals here on CS9. We'll be back with a fourth and final quarter. As we start the fourth quarter, let's go down the courtside and somebody who's pretty in purple, Patricia Hizon. Coach B-Boy, you know, napakita nyo in the last game that you guys can come back from an 18-point deficit. Dito naman sa larong ito, you guys came back from a 21-point deficit, although he never just scored. But what do you guys need to do to sustain that kind of energy? We have to sustain our defense. Plus, pumapasok yung tira na namin sa labas eh. Kaya medyo dumidikit na kami ngayon. So kailangan lang isustain namin yung kind of defense namin. We have to make stops. Kailangan mas stop namin sila, then we're making our shots. All right, appreciate it. Back to you, June and Kinito. Thank you, Patricia. You know, what a difference outside shots make. And uh, absolutely agree. Sustain the defense and continue making shots. That's the key. The lead is five for Barangay Ginebra. Here's Siegel, hands off to Villanueva. Gets a screen. Villanueva all the way to the basket for the two points. So J.J. Helterbrand, no teammates, back on defense. Well, back to help him out. That's a boo-boo for Bangay Hinebra. J.J. Helterbrand went to inbound. All four of his teammates went all the way to the front court. And he did not have anybody to pass to.